this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint with DIY paint and how to fix something that looks like it should belong in the trash. Before you begin painting, be sure to clean your piece really well. I use humble suds and water. This is my garage. It's dirty. I keep a continuous mister of spray nearby with water mixed with my humble suds all natural cleaner. I'll put a link below. Let's get started painting. I like to use another continuous mister water bottle to lightly mist my area and then I go in with a thin coat of paint. I work from the outside in lifting up the hardware as I go. You can work from the inside out. For this project I'm using DIY paint in Bohemian Blue. I keep that bottle of water nearby and continue to mist it and my brush as I go. The first coat is going on nice and thin. All DIY paint products are really pigmented, so two coats will finish this. Here comes the part that isn't pretty. I neglected to get a picture of the top, but this is about how it looked. This is why I was able to get this buffet for free. The top was peeling and required a lot of Bondo and sealer to block that water stain. I created this silly reel to kind of show what happens when you have water damage on the top. Um, the top is seriously damaged and that can't be refinished. It's water stained all the way through. If you try to paint without blocking that water stain, it will come through. So I used Salvation Solution one thin coat, allow it to dry, give it a light sand, and then paint as normal and you'll have a beautiful finish. So you can see I'm doing the same process to the top. When doing a big flat surface, I like to do long brush strokes instead of short back and forth and I keep that water bottle handy. Just remember, thin coats are better than one thick coat. Then I go around the sides and make sure there are no drips. It's amazing how much was just left on my paintbrush. So just mist your brush and you will be able to get a lot of paint off. So the first coat dried and bad news, that water stain came through. Even This is really rare, but just put another coat of Salvation solution on and then and paint to where you need to. Okay, the next coat's totally dry. I sanded it with a power sander. You can also do this by hand. I am using a 320 grit. The paint will come off in a really fine powdery surface. If you're not comfortable with a power sander, start by hand first because it will take up a lot of paint if you go too hard. As much as I love my power sander, nothing beats going in and having control with your hand. Then I'm using 320 grit sandpaper. The higher the number, the finer. I might finish with a 220 if I want to do a little more distressing, but this is going to totally smooth out the paint and it's going to make it feel like glass by the time we get the wax on it. It's going to be amazing. So here I'm lightly going over the high points. This is where the paint would naturally wear off. Try not to do too much distressing in the flat planes. I'm just doing the knobs and the high points of the cabinet and the edge. Don't forget to get the legs and the bottom part and then wipe off with a rag and the paint will come off in a fine dust as you can see. Be sure to remove all that dust before you start on your top coat. And to finish this up, I'm going to use DIY 100% Natural Clear Wax. It smells really good. I am going to really work it into the paint and it will create this beautiful finish. I have a special surprise for the top. I have a signature watertight finish that I can't wait to share with you. DIY paint is so pigmented and be reactivated with liquid or moisture before you put a top coat on. So I always like to take out a little bit of wax, put it on a separate container, and then really work it into the paint. It's going to look wet and in some places translucent again. I like to follow the natural lines of this. So I'm going up and down on flat places and in circles and other places. I want the top to be really solid. I don't want anyone to worry that they're going to ruin it. They spill something on it, some wine or soda or whatever. I like to do one to two coats of DIY Big Top. It is the toughest finish DIY paint makes, but then I want to add an extra layer and softness using the clear wax. So what happens is you're putting an oil base over a water base and it makes this watertight 
sealer. I will show you once the wax is hard and spill something on it and you will be amazed. So let's get started. I'm using a flat brush to put this on. You can use a sponge brush for big wide planes like this. I always recommend a flat brush or a sponge brush. You're not gonna see highs and lows, especially because we're putting the wax on, but it dries pretty fast. I poured some Big Top into a separate container because of that color transfer. Now I like to do the same technique. I go all the way to the end and then work with a wet edge. While you're going, be sure to check the sides for drips. You won't see highs and lows, but if you have a lot of product on the side somewhere, it will dry in kind of a milky hard finish. So just go around your edges and you can avoid them. This is how your piece will look as the wax is drying. It's gonna dry at a different rate depending on how thick the paint is or how porous the wood. Now that the wax is dry, I'm going to use this Buffy Buffs a Lot brush. It is attachment that fits into most drills and instead of using a lint-free rag and wearing my arm out, this is gonna work really fast and we'll be finished really quickly. I like to hold my drill with two hands so I have a little more control. I also should have brushed the back of my hair. It was a very windy day. I just move it around. I might go over it twice, but this is so much easier than hand buffing and you can get these at my shop. With DIY Paint Clear Wax, you get this beautiful light shining off your piece and it really almost glows. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.